a dry desert devoid of new content, sat waiting for any sign of life. It's been years since the last expansion pack, no, has and finally... The Sims scene has finally just announced their brand new expansion pack, and today we're going to be dissecting the trailer and discussing all of its brand new features. Sexual themes? Not in my Sims game, wait. Maybe this time it's okay. First, the stream started off with a countdown in a lovely heart-shaped pond with two little love swans. The Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack. Hot MILF approaching. Hot MILF lover receiving. Oh, she did not like that. We're immediately introduced to a very sultry club. What type of club? you ask? One can only hope. Man's trying out his luck again. Oh, she's moving. What's all that movement back there? There's a new kiss animation that she uses on the other guy. And so we go straight to Tinder. It looks like you can change how you describe yourself, what you're looking for, who you're attracted to, and you can save Sims. Oh my god, he has the necklace. New traits like love bug, romantically reserved. Oh, he's into milfs. That's all he cares about. You can actually gift flower bouquets now. Is this a penthouse? Are we getting apartments again? Woohooing in the closet during Pride Month? You can actually feed each other food now, which is so cute. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? What is this? They added roleplay into The Sims 4. I am bewildered. I like the suitcase in the back, though. This is too much. The vibrating heart bed is back. And cuddling in bed. And you can actually cuddle under the stars properly instead of just lying down. You did not just woohoo in the park. You did not just do that. Despicable behavior. Don Lothario doing what he does and he, oh my god. She got cheated on and died. That's actually how that feels. And you can cuddle on a rug. And that's it? Okay, so that felt like that was a lot of information thrown at us, but also not a lot shown to us. But I do want to give my honest opinion on what I did see, but I also don't believe in critiquing things until I've actually played it, so please take this with a grain of salt. But the stuff that I've seen here, I'm actually a little bit excited about, which I know sounds very weird for me, but it looks really goofy and silly, which is something I feel like The Sims is really, really lacking. At least The Sims 4 is. But with that said, this doesn't look like a full $40 to me, bestie. I'm so Sorry, this looks so much like a game pack. Yes, I know it comes with a new world, and yes, we don't know all the details about all of the gameplay because this is just a trailer. I like that they've revamped dating and made it a lot more fun, a lot more interesting, and a lot more modern. I'm not 100% sure about how the dating apps are going to work. I know from what I read online that the dating pool of Sims is actually going to come from your gallery, which could be a hit or a miss. That can go very wrong very quickly, but it also means you won't be matched up with the same townies all the time, so I guess that's pretty exciting. Exciting. I also know there are going to be new relationship dynamics, but the trailer didn't really show that off very well, so I can't really pass a judgment on that. It does seem very steamy and very rated T for teen, which I also think is something that the game has been severely lacking, so I feel like they're trying to cater to older players in a way, especially with the throwback to the vibrating bed, which is something that gives me hope. I feel like they're finally going raunchy, but as raunchy as they'll allow themselves to do, which is something that I welcome. It's still never really mentioned anything about different types of relationships, whether you can have open relationships or polyamorous relationships, so I'm not quite sure about that. All I know is if you have a relationship, it could either go really well or really badly. I don't know, Bestie, this is really giving game pack, but I'm not so negative about this. I do need to see more, and I definitely need to play it, and it will come out next month with seemingly useless pre-order bonuses as usual. This, I will reserve my judgment until next month. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are excited, because for once, I would... This is gonna sound crazy, but for once, I'm, act I'm actually pretty excited. <laughs> EA, make it cheaper, though. <laughs>